home where we caught a nice break from the high humidity. Meteorologist Lisa Villegas has your certified most accurate forecast. Lisa. We're getting ready for changes, of course, here. Good evening to you at home. Later on in the week, we're going to get ready for the heat and the humidity to return. But focusing on what we're seeing right now, still very comfortable out there, and you're going to notice this tomorrow morning on that commute out. So getting you out the door, temperatures are going to eventually fall into the mid-60s. Refreshing tomorrow, lots of sunshine early. We even have those lower 50s up in Boone and Jefferson. So soak that up. In fact, tomorrow afternoon, no different. Temperatures upper 80s, not too shabby. Just like what we saw today, a little cooler. 87, of course, for that high across parts of Mecklenburg County, upper 70s up in the mountains. But we're all pretty much in the same boat. Not only is it going to be a little cooler once again tomorrow, but the humidity remains on the lower end. Dew points in the 50s, which means we're in that comfortable category. So tomorrow, not bad, but you're noticing the temperature trend. Of course, it doesn't last forever, and this is when we get ready for the heat. For Independence Day, Friday and Saturday, kind of heading into the weekend. Records are in the upper 90s, so 99 on Thursday, 100 on Friday, and 99 on Saturday. So not quite record breaking, <coughs> excuse me, but we are going to be closer to the records than we are that normal high temperature of around 90 degrees. So this is what it's going to feel like. I mentioned the dew points. So for tomorrow, comfortable, but now we're going to get ready for the dew points to be in the 70s, and this is why it's going to feel like the triple digits, especially into Friday with our first alert because of the heat. So when we get in the 70s, it's going to feel tropical out there, really soupy. So you are going to notice that if you are making any plans for the holiday weekend. Luckily, we are going to see some moisture picking up, which means rain chances get added to our forecast, especially as we head into the weekend. A frontal system is going to approach our area, and that will help trigger some of those rain chances, which will be fantastic, and we could continue to use more of those downpours in our area. You heard this earlier, Siobhan mentioned we do have a Category 5 hurricane. We have Hurricane Barrel, which just got upgraded not too long ago. As it continues on its path towards Jamaica, could impact the area as a Category 4 downgrading to a Category 3 hurricane, but then of course weakening as it heads across parts of Mexico and Belize and over into the Gulf of Mexico. So something we want to watch out for here. As we take a look at the 7-day forecast, upper 80s, lower 90s for the next couple of days. Try to take advantage of it because then we deal with some serious heat, including the overnight lows from the mid 60s into the mid and upper 70s as we get ready for more rain chances finishing out the seven day forecast. Siobhan. Lisa, thank you.